Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie, your intuitive reader, and welcome back to your new week. So this is looking at your week ahead. Um, we have three piles here. Remember that each of these are available for purchase in my shop, which you can find in the description. I offer private readings, I offer tons of crystals, and I get more regularly. I also have a Facebook page down there where I do live crystal sales every Saturday. So um, I recommend you follow that, but let's go ahead and get started. So pile number one is a green fluorite mushroom. It is the cutest green fluorite mushroom. Pile number two is a Caribbean calcite skull. And pile number three is an opalite elephant. So go ahead, take as much time as you need. You can pause the video. Otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and get right into the reading. All right, so this is for those of you who chose the green fluorite mushroom. Know that this crystal is currently available, at least at the time I'm making this video, um, in my Etsy shop, which you can find down below. But let's go ahead and see what is in store for your week ahead. So the first card we have is the werewolf, exploring wildness. We then have the rose, which says a sense of perfection. I affirm that I am perfect just the way I am. We have the bridge, the bridges. We have the high priestess. Ooh, and we have the empress, wow. Okay, so you have two major arcana for the week. So, um, with major arcana cards, I don't like to say that they're better because I know some people say that, but that just means that they're more intense energies in my perspective. So you got an intense week here with intense energies and that's not a bad thing. Okay. It looks like very positive energies, but let's begin. Okay. Let's start with this werewolf here. I do think that this week it's actually incredibly important for you to accept, okay, to accept new opportunities in your life, to let your hair down a little, and to just have fun, okay? Um, if somebody invites you out this week, I do recommend, you know, as long as everything's cool, you say yes. I recommend if there's an opportunity for you to do something that you've always wanted to do, I recommend you say yes. I, I recommend for you to just be a little bit more spontaneous this week. I'm also here with the rose, okay? Uh, this talks about I affirm that I am perfect just the way I am. So I want you guys to really um, be mindful of self-care this week too. I want you to realize that you are beautiful, you are perfect, and um, I think you're finally coming into that. You might have struggled with self-esteem in the past. You might still struggle with it. Um, but I do think that it is something that you are beginning to overcome, especially too with this exploring wildness. I also think you're starting to overcome uh, caring about so much, caring so much about what other people think and, and just being more of your true self that is coming through. You also have the bridge here from the Lenormand. Now the bridge, um, can mean a number of things. Uh, it can mean bridging a gap. Uh, so it can literally talk about making connections. So it could actually talk about a connection, but it can also talk about bridging, you know, a gap between where you are now and where you will be or where you were and where you are now. So kind of like a growth thing. It can also talk about ascending in, you know, a career ladder, ascending in, you know, any type of thing where you could be going up. Um, so one of those things, okay, I think for most of you, I think this is about uh, bridging a gap between what you were and what you are now, as in, I think you're coming more into who you truly are. And I think that this has been a recent thing. I want to say probably the past couple of years, I think you have really started to realize this is who I am. I'm beautiful and this is me. Um, but with the high priestess and the empress as well, I really get this beautiful kind of feminine energy now that you don't have to be, you know, 
feminine and masculine energies have absolutely nothing to do with um the gender of somebody they are just energies so i do see you though being more intuitive this week being more creative with the high priestess i really want you to pay attention especially to symbols that you're getting this week whether that be repeating numbers you know certain colors animals anything that you that is repeating to you or or things even that you see in your dreams okay because i think that there is I mean, you're really coming into this high priestess energy this week. So this is somebody who is really intuitive, who is really um, also healing, okay? So I do feel like there's been some spiritual and emotional healing going on and that will continue to go on this week. With the Empress, okay, the Empress is about fertility too. So I mean, some of you, you know, you could be, this is only for a select few, don't worry, uh, could be finding out you're pregnant this week, could be trying to get pregnant this week don't have to. Um, but also the Empress also talks about fertility in form of ideas, in form of projects. So I do think that um, I want you to really use that psychic powers, psychic abilities, gifts that you have to really maybe put that into action. Um, maybe in a form of creative project, whether that be, you know, a blog, um, a YouTube video, um, some sort of creative thing. I also feel, you know, I can't help but to think that this also could be people because they are, you know, actual people on the cards compared to other major arcana types. So this could also mean for some of you that you are making a connection with one of these types of energies that could be actual people. Um, let's see, anything else I want to mention? Hmm. I don't think so. I think I have mentioned everything I want to mention, but it is a really positive week for you guys. I see you coming into who you truly are. I see you possibly making connection with individuals. I see you bridging the gap of things. I think there's also a lot sense of completion because yeah, we do have the full moon over here as well, uh, plus the bridges. So it could also be, you know, that you are completing something this week, coming full circle. Okay. So I hope this reading helped. I know it's short, but I hope it helped. So you know what to look forward to for the week ahead. It's a really positive week. Pile number one, have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right, if you chose pile number two with this cute little Caribbean calcite skull, know that this skull as well as all the other crystals are currently, at least at the time that I'm making this video, available in my Etsy shop, which you can find down below. So let's go ahead and get into what is your week ahead going to look like pile two. The first card we have here is hearth. Happiness in our hearts and homes, beautiful. Next card we have is the cross. Okay, okay, we're gonna get to that. We also have chamomile, and this says peace and tranquility. Yes, my spirit is at peace through all circumstances. Mm hmm. This cross, like at first I was like, okay, because I do wanna let you know the cross in the Lenormand can talk about grief, sadness, it can talk about basically bearing your own cross. Um, but it, it it's good, okay? We're going to get to that. We also have the Seven of Wands. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so I can really, I can see a very clear message for most of you. The main message I'm getting is that Pile 2, you guys have been through some stuff, okay? And I don't know, it doesn't have to be recent. It could just be... You know, it could have happened a long time ago. It could have happened in other lifetimes. But for the most of you, I still think it has happened in this lifetime in which certain people have broken your heart. Certain situations have turned out not the way you expected. There has been grief. There has been sadness. There has been upset. There has been obstacles. Okay. There has been pain. There has been emotional pain. But what's interesting is 
the fact that you have this card and then right next to it, you have chamomile, which says that you're at peace. Okay, well, let's turn that over again. It says peace and tranquility. So I think even if this thing happened, whether it happened recently or whether it happened years and years and years ago, I feel that for... I, I think that you've gone through healing, but now this this upcoming week, you're really coming into an energetic state of healing. You're finally accepting what has happened and you are in a state of peace, serenity, tranquility, calmness, which is beautiful. Even you're, you're understanding what happened to you and that you're, you're upset that it has happened to you, but that it has taught you something and you are now in a positive stance, okay, which is beautiful. With seven of wands though, two, seven of wands tells me again that you've been through a lot of stuff because seven of wands is about, you know, standing strong through adversity. So I do think that there has been some hard times. There might still be some things in your life that you're not completely okay with. There might be some troubling times. Now, I don't mean necessarily negative in this sense because sometimes things can be, I want to say difficult, okay? I see maybe you're dealing with something that could be a bit difficult for you, whether that be, you know, work, school, life purpose, connections. I want you in particular, as long as you see it to be positive and healthy, I want you to continue to stand your ground because I see beauty on the other side. I see peace and tranquility. I want you to still stand your ground this week, okay? I want you to be confident. I want you to stand tall. We also have the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles, I want you though, group number two, to be aware of a healthy balance okay because the six of pentacles you know it can talk about you know generosity giving things like that but i want you um, of all people pile two because this is coming up i want you to really pay attention that this week you are having a healthy give and take i think maybe in the past people took a lot from you and um, they weren't giving enough that they should be like in a connection or even like in a workplace environment and so now going forward i think you are seeing that i think you are recognizing that this week you are seeing okay these are the people that I need to surround myself with. This is the job in which I need to work at, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You're going to have to see how it fits for you because this is a general reading, but I see that you're finally understanding balance of give and take this week, and that is super super important. Especially I feel that you're very empathic and it's super important for an empath, okay? You also have hearth over here. And this is happiness in our hearts and homes. So I do also feel that this week it would be very beneficial for you to go home if you can, or at least to call home, um, what, you know, whether that, whoever your home is, okay? Because some people, you know, they, they either they don't have parents or they don't connect with their parents and that is okay. Whatever home is for you, if home is your partner, then that's your home. If home to you is your childhood dog that's, you know, whatever it is, I want you to spend time there and I want you to connect there. So for a lot of you, I do feel this this home is going to be probably going back to your childhood home. So a lot of you might be doing that um, or at least back to where you grew up. Uh, doesn't have to be though. So I want you to... Spend time with the people you love this upcoming week, okay? Just because I think it's it's wonderful, but I think it's going to really also facilitate this healing process that you are going through. It's going to even bring in more peace and tranquility this week. But you guys also chose Caribbean calcite, and all blue crystals are very, very calming. And so that's beautiful. There is a big sense of calmness, okay? I have a big relief feeling happening. Because I don't think that this, I mean, I'm not going to lie, you might still feel that this is, that you're still carrying across as in, you're still, you're still carrying pain that has happened, you're still carrying, uh, but this can be other people's, you know, you can carry other people's crosses as well, especially, like I said, as an empath, you can take on other people's energy, so I want you to be really mindful of that. I also want you to set boundaries this week too. So if that is that you are carrying somebody else's cross, make sure that you are 
carrying that cross for a short period of time or you're choosing when to carry that cross or you don't want to carry that cross at all it's up to you but you got to make sure you're setting boundaries okay because otherwise i do see you feeling drained so let's go ahead and get um well let's see i was going to go to the next let me see if i am missing anything i'm going to do one final sorry my husband is showering in the background if you hear that let's see what else Hearts and homes. No, I do think that is it. I think I have said everything I want to say. Pile two, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I will see you next week, okay? Bye bye. All right, this is for those of you who chose a pile number three with this cute little opalite elephant. Just so you know, at the time of this reading, this opalite elephant is still available in my shop down below, my Etsy shop, as well as many other crystals if you are interested, and readings, personal readings. So let's go ahead and get into what is your week ahead going to look like, pile number three. What can you expect? Okay, first we have the black cat. Fortune meets opportunity. Wow, that is positive for sure. Okay, next we have the beautiful lavender, which says serenity within oneself. I am serene as I move through transitions and changes. Okay. We also have the child's. We have the Six of Wands. And lastly, we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so let's get into this. So the first thing I want to make clear, got a little elephant here. The first thing is that I do feel a sense of change this week, okay? Whether this is a change that you're aware of or not, there is something changing. Um, so this could be, you know, a number of things. Okay. This can be, you're changing your beliefs. This can be, you're just going through an energetic shift. This can be, you're changing jobs. You're changing relationships. It can be a bunch of things. And this is a general reading. So I cannot get too specific on that, but I do see a transition. I want you to know that this week is looking a bit, um, exciting, uh, I think it can, it has this sense to be maybe a little bit stressful, but not in a negative way. I just feel that there's a lot changing. And so it might feel a bit overwhelming this week. You might just feel a little overwhelmed with the energies, but don't, don't worry because look here with the black cat, fortune meets opportunity. There's going to be a great opportunity this week. Um, and you might already be aware of this opportunity, might not be, that you're faced with. And I want you to take that opportunity, okay? Because I do see great fortune on the other side. If this week, you know, already, you already know about this opportunity, great things are going to come from it. It just might seem a little overwhelming at first. We also have a child here. The child, so this can indicate a literal child. Uh, for some of you, you could, you know, maybe be pregnant this week. Don't worry. If you're not if you're not trying to be pregnant or whatever, don't worry about it. Um, but for those of you, you know, this could be a time if you want to try to conceive, could be a good time. Um, also, though, with a child, this could just talk about a child in your life. Ow, I just bit my tongue. That hurt. <laughs> um, a child in your life, a younger person. But this also can just talk about childlike energies. So being young at heart, trying new things, um, being curious that is relating to this as well. You know, taking opportunities, trying new things, being a bit more spontaneous, okay? We also have the Six of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. So with the Page of Pentacles, again, opportunities. Uh, this could be financial opportunities relating to career, relating to life purpose, anything kind of material. And the Six of Wands is also, but oh, Page of Pentacles can also talk about manifestation as well. So this, I do see this as being something probably that you've manifested. Something that it might feel like it comes out of nowhere, but that you're, you've been putting energy into this thing for a while, um, whether you know it or not. With the Six of Wands, this talks about recognition. So if you have been putting effort into anything recently, you're going to see the results this week, I do feel, from yourself. You're going to have self-recognition, but I also feel you're going to have 
other people recognizing you for your efforts. And I do feel mostly this is going to have to do with school or work, something material, okay, or, or life purpose in some way in which you're going to be like, wow, I'm proud of myself and other people are going to say, we're proud of you, okay? Um, but I, I think here with lavender, let me flip this over one more time. With lavender, yes, I am serene as I move through transition and changes. I want you to take special care this week. Uh, self-care I want you to take a self-care um, day okay go plan a self-care day right now and whatever that means to you just a day in which you are spending a lot of time on self because I do feel like you're very selfless you probably do that a lot a lot of other things for other people and um, I want you to just kind of have fun this week but I don't I'm not trying to scare you by saying like intense but like I do feel like this is intense energy I won't lie this week it's like exciting but it's a little overwhelming so whatever this means for you okay because it can mean like this is a new relationship a new job opportunity a new school opportunity a new the goal that you're trying to accomplish I do see you seeing at least some of the uh, efforts that you've been putting in okay you will see that whatever that is for you um let's see if i have anything else for you yeah again with this child though i want you to just kind of be tap into the inner child you know the inner child too might need some healing so i do recommend maybe going into meditation and maybe focusing on healing some of those wounds from your childhood um but the childlike energy this is all about really just having fun being curious spontaneous um and the childlike energy can also talk about immaturity but i i don't feel that with you guys at all i don't i don't feel that um but i want you to understand that this opportunity that is happening this week or that you have put energy in will have fortune attached to it i do feel the fortune is in form of knowledge i also feel that it's in form of money okay i do feel a monetary gain as well um that is in the making regarding this thing whatever it is um if it's related to career if it's related to a relationship it would be more you know fortune in um, abundance in love and and things like that but um yes i guess that is all i have kind of short messages this week i thought uh they would be longer but I, that is what i have so i hope you enjoyed this reading pile number three and i will see you next week okay bye bye